Hey guys, Tim Ballard, CEO of the Nazarene Fund. Thank you. Thank you so much. We had blueprints to go into Afghanistan and help as much as we can to extract these vulnerable people. You, thousands of U.S. citizens were working with their families who are scared to death because they're stuck over there. And these are difficult decisions. We're not criticizing any government administration. The last administration did something similar, pulling out of Syria, leaving vulnerable people behind. It's happening now. Again, we're not politicians, we're apolitical. We're just dealing with the hand we've been dealt, and that is this, people are stuck and they have no way out. There's many Christian Afghanis who converted over the last two decades, why? Because the US government provided freedom, the infrastructure, constitutional protections that allowed them to confidently become Christian and proudly put on their ID card that I'm a Christian. Those ID cards are now their death warrants. When the Taliban sees that, they're summarily executed. If they try to get to the airport and they see even a Bible app on their iPhones, they are summarily executed. Understand what's going on here. They're stuck. We, because we have the amazing opportunity to have teams on the ground right now, we've identified well over 3,000 people who are stuck. We've, we know the location of many of them and we have lots of plans that I cannot reveal to get them out in different ways. And that's only because of your contribution. Remember, we had these ideas, but they were just theoretical until you came through, mostly through the pleading of Glenn Beck on his show. You came through, and now you're making it possible for these blueprints to become a reality. We are being aggressive, as aggressive as we can be. And we can't do it without you, but mostly we can't do it without heaven, without God's help. We believe God loves liberty more than anybody else. And so we turn to God and we ask you to turn to God. Tomorrow we are calling for a day of fasting and prayer so that we, together with you, together with heaven, can liberate these vulnerable, captive people. We are confident we can do it. We love you. We honor you. Stay with us. And I'll be giving you an update as soon as we possibly can. But we think we are very close to seeing our very first rescue operations come to fruition. We love you guys.